Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm showing you where the cue ball will go after it hits an object ball. And I did this video once, and I did it with two pencils. So I figured I got this idea. Uh, I actually saw this on the Fargo Billiards How to Play Pool video. So credit to them for this video. I'm going to draw on the table with some chalk. Don't worry, it easily comes off. Uh, just so you can see what we're doing. So first, our first object ball, let's just put it there. That's our first object ball right there. That big chalk mark. Let's see, Yeah, you can see it. That big chalk mark right there. And let's put our cue ball at a slight angle. Let's, let's put our cue ball in this big chalk ring right here. So, when the cue ball contacts another ball, let's say the one ball goes into that pocket. The cue ball, when hit with center ball, directly in the center of the ball, right here where this giant C is on the IQ, it will go away at about a 90 degree angle uh, over there. So our cue ball should follow that second line coming from the one ball. So let's just go ahead and demonstrate that. It's gonna go forward a little bit since I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it on that line. But it follows that line right there when you hit with center ball. Now, if we give ourselves a little bit of an angle, and now we're gonna hit with some backspin and show you what happens with that. So this is where we're hitting on the IQ this B right here. And that will bring our cue ball back along this dotted line. It's not gonna go directly on here. I was kinda guesstimating. But that little angle is gonna bring it out and it's gonna hook and come back just like that. So it went along that dotted line just fine. And then there's a rule for follow shots. Follow shots is another word for top spin. So if we hit this A right here, this is topspin on our cue ball. So when the ball goes in this direction, the cue ball, when it has topspin, is going to go 30 degrees. Uh, so our cue ball should go along this dotted line close to that if it's in a circle. And there it goes. It goes across that dotted line now at that 30 degree angle. So your angles don't have to be exactly correct. I'm going to show you the model up close and just remind you. This is our cue ball and this is our object ball. When we hit with center ball and the object ball goes in this direction, our cue ball will travel in a 90 degree angle. I know my lines aren't perfectly straight. You'll just have to deal with it. But when we hit with backspin, our cue ball is going to be pulled back, almost at a 180. If it's, if it's a straight in shot, it's at a 180. The more curve that you have, like the more angle you have on your ball, the more it's going to hook out to uh, whichever direction that this line would be going. And when you're shooting with topspin, whatever direction that that one ball goes, the cue ball is going to go from a 30 degree angle, depending on how much topspin you have. That's with about max topspin. If you shut with a little bit less topspin, it'll go more along this line. So that time we shot with about one tip of topspin, and now let's do half a tip. And see, it just goes further over each time. Also, it varies with how much backspin you use. If we only use about a tip of backspin, our cue ball is probably going to go along this line or go straight. So, a little bit of backspin. See? Went along that dotted line. So, it depends with how much backspin and stuff you're using. Obviously, the less backspin we use, the straighter it's going to go, and then it'll probably curve a little bit. Uh, but that is for a kind of straight in shot. We have a tad bit of an angle on this, so that's why the cue ball hooks off in that direction. But now I'm going to show you these different things with more of an angle. 
Okay, so now let's put two balls over here. So let's put our object ball right there. And let's put our cue ball right here. So our cue ball will be traveling into our object ball at our contact point. Our object ball will be traveling into the side pocket. And since it goes at that angle with center ball, our cue ball is going to go off of that ball at a 90 degree angle. If we have top spin, it'll go at about a 30 degree angle. It's going to be a little more over than that. I drew that wrong. Uh, and if we have backspin, since we have this heavy angle, it's probably going to go about along that line with some backspin. Uh, that's with maximum backspin, not with a little bit. So let's put the balls where they're supposed to go. And I'm going to shoot slow center. So it follows that line right there. If I shot fast center, it would go straight across it or a little bit behind it. Let's actually shoot with fast center real quick. I may accidentally be putting some spin on the ball, so if it travels a little bit off, that's probably why. But it goes across that line. Now, if we use top spin, I knew I, I drew that line a little closer to that than I wanted to. It's going to go off at a little bit more of an angle, probably a lot bit more of an angle. Uh, it's going to go, let's just correct that real quick. I drew it way off. It's going to go about on this line right here, across that dotted line. So, hopefully I guesstimated that correctly. And let's put the balls back where they were. Yeah, I knew it was more over, but we got the kind of curve correct. It was, cue ball went across there. Now with that back spin, maximum back spin, as much as we can put on the cue ball, it's going to travel across that dotted line. So why is this helpful? For playing position, you need to know where your cue ball is going to go with top spin, back spin, all that good stuff. And if you don't want to scratch. So you see, if we shift our view over here, that corner pocket could be a threat here. With center ball, with slow or medium center ball, it's going to roll forward just a tad, and we may scratch into that pocket. Uh, so we need to know what angles our cue ball is going at and our object balls are going at. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Thank you guys so much for 10,700 subscribers. That is absolutely crazy. We've went up seven or 800 in this past week uh, since, yeah, since about Wednesday. We hit 10,000 and now we're at 10,700. And today is Saturday. So that is absolutely crazy for a channel of my size. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any tutorial requests, leave them in the comment section down below. If you have any questions about today's video or a video in the past, leave them down below. If you just have a question in general, uh, doesn't have to do with any video that I made, you can leave that down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, and I hope this video helped you become a better pool player. I forgot to mention, if you want to order the IQ training ball, this ball that I showed you the spin on, you can go to iqclinic.com. This is a great tool for practicing your spin control, speed control. It helps you simulate shots over and over again with the exact same spin, so you can know so you know what's going to happen to your cue ball, just like that little chart's going to help you. This is going to help you just as much, if not more. So you can get one of these for $20 or $25 at iqclinic.com. That's I-C-U-E-C-L-I-N-I-C.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.